ஹாய் ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் மை சேனல் நேம் இஸ் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி கோச்சிங் ஃபார் எம்செட் எம்எஸ்சி சிஎஸ்ஏஆர் யூஜிசி நெட் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் மை சேனல் அண்ட் ஹிட் த பெல்லைக்கான் கிவ்மி எ லைக் ஹியர் ஐ ஆம் ப்ரொவைடிங் வீடியோஸ் ஃபார் இன்டர்மீடியட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் பிஎஸ்சி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் MSc students, PhD students. This video is very helpful to MSc students, PhD students. In this video, I am discussing about my thesis work, chapter 3. Let's get into the video. okay then i started my th- my phd in august 2005 so after uh, so august 2005 i worked for a project um, for one year already i told in the previous uh, video and around 6 months for uh, synthesis of goniothel stair and fe goniothel stair so almost one year 6 months or one year 8 months are over so one year six month after that uh, so in 2007 around february march i started synthesis of fr252921 so fr252921 i have taken just i will explain the activity this molecule is a 9 mem- 9 member lactone dilactam so in general this is uh, extracted from the culture growth of pseudomonas fluorescens by fujin etal so this molecule is having immunosuppressant activity so it is having also different activities but i am not going to dis- discuss about activities so i am going to the synthesis part so first of all before going to synthesis so i am providing some guidelines for phd people so what will happen is phd fellowship is only for 5 years so i am suggesting for phd people so while working for phd prepare for some good jobs like dl so if you are one interested to work in government sector so why because after Mm, after finishing phd or post doc and post doc so automatically you will get a job in industry pharma industry so that is also fine but the problem in the pro- in pro pharma salary is good but you have to take the challenge you have to finish the targets according to the deadlines so pressure is there so some people are preferring government jobs while working for phd so some people will go to dl some people go to other jobs so after getting phd is my some of the friends are joined in iocl hpcl ongc like that so better to <coughs> prepare for government jobs okay so while working in for phd so so you need you needed some skills so what are the skills why because everybody do will everybody will do phd but according to person to person the skills are different so some people are uh, uh, very skillful some people are okay they will complete okay but here troubleshooting and uh, skills are very important so in phd you have to learn first how to put dry reactions are important so that is uh, that is you have to you have to have personal observations so some reagents are spoiled with moisture so please observe so please observe the observe the bottle so please observe the bottle 
observe the bottle see it is spoiled or not uh, so sometimes what will happen we will add butyl lithium to our substrate so our service we add generated so anion is uh, if you have tradition of butyl lithium anion is generated so some anions is having color so you have to observe anion is having color or not so anion is having color so uh, suppose if anion generates a brown color next time when you repeat the reaction the brown color is generating or not sometimes any moisture will is there the anion will not generated so anion if anion is not if color is not generated so you no need to add the your compound so these are called personal observations so you have to observe personal observation so sometimes uh, while doing the grubs you have to do the degassing so sometimes you have to do when you do the grubs you have to do the degassing degassing means you have to remove the air and you have to um, you have to do the um, you have to uh, de- uh, remove the gas uh, air you have to flow the nitrogen so some some reaction some some reactions needed a argon treatment so you have to remove the air and you have to um, so you have to give argon environment so some reactions need dry conditions like grignard so if you generate grignard you have to maintain the you have to wash everything your operators and uh, how to dry the oven so some skills are needed so one or two times i also failed for generated grignard but uh, person to person skills are vary so so grignard generation also you have to use dry operators so you have to learn the here skills this is called skills and after how to you have to learn how to use siphon dryer and reaxes perfectly why because what is happening is after finishing your phd if you go to postdoc or if you go to industry whatever it may be what will they, sometimes they will give the target just you have to design the scheme you have to order the chemicals after uh, taking ordering the chemicals you have to put the reactions so you have to you have to maintain a group group you have to maintain a group and you have to do, give the scheme to students and you have to finish the target according to the deadline and uh, you have to do the shipment according to deadline that is one important thing in industry what is happening he is after doing phd they are giving one or three to one two three msc students so what will happen uh, they will they will be, they are providing salary to you and uh, they are providing salaries to your msc students and they are providing uh, they are providing chemicals so here time and money totally involved so you, you have to finish the targets according to the deadline that is all that is very important in industry if you work for phd nobody will do you can work for a scheme you work for a molecule for one year or two years doesn't matter but when we come to industry you have to finish the target according to deadline maximum one month two months so here you have to finish the target fast so you you have to apply your total knowledge completely and accurately so you have to finish the target according to the deadline so while doing phd learn how to write publications also important so learn how to write publications uh, so it is also very useful so after phd you can try iocl hpcl ongc if you got job you are lucky so so these are the guidelines for phd then we will come to the reto synthesis of fr292121 so already i told around one and a half year is over so 2005 completed 2006 completed 2007 maybe march so i started synthesis of fr252921 so this is the retro synthesis so the lacto the compound here uh, here, here is uh, ester linkage we will disconnect here we will get to disconnect the here we will get seco acid so the the seco acid um, so another um, we can disc uh, next we can disconnect here the peptide bond this is called already amide bond or peptide bond so if you disconnect here you will get the acid ester protected compound you will get this side azide or amine whatever it is 
and another discussion point is same like this is amide bond so if you disconnect here you will get a amine here or an H block here it will you will get another side acid so you are getting the three uh, three fragments so this is the called uh, convergent synthesis if you go for linear synthesis steps are more and your yield is very low if you go by convergent synthesis so you can do uh, yields are more and you can finish easily uh, simultaneously one we can assign one fragment to your junior also so we will go first so synthesis of fragment a first so i have taken here 1 comma 3 propane diol so subjected to tbs protection using tbs chloride triethylamine dmap you see here after production one three propane diol with tbs chloride i got one side tbs one side alcohol so when the alcohol is subjected to sphern oxidation condition so oxidation means conversion of alcohol to aldehyde so you will get aldehyde here you are getting aldehyde so you have to prepare this phosphorite like from corresponding bromo so you have to order this chemical bromo compound you have to take trithyl phosphite and this bromo compound you have to heat for overnight so then you will you will prepare this compound in the laboratory so after preparation of this compound you have to take the, this compound in the rb and you have to add sodium hydride stir for 30 minutes at zero then followed by addition of this early head suppose we are giving number this one too this is one so after addition of early head to this compound so you are getting compound 3 suppose we are compound 3 is a diene compound also diene and having ester conjugation so what is happening is in generally we will convert uh, the ester to alcohol using dibol so if you use 2.5 clans of dibol you will convert ester to alcohol under certain oxidation condition alcohol is converted into aldehyde so you will get compound 4 aldehyde so after say after conversion of compound to aldehyde you have to take this compound so you have to take this compound you have to add uh, lithium chloride dbu thf in thf so you will generate the anion here so you will get the anion here after generation of anion you have to stir zero for 30 minutes then you have to add compound 4 so if you add compound 4 then the reaction will complete then you will get a train compound 5 so you are now your compound with 5 so what we are doing is now we are doing tbs deproduction using tbaf tbaf used to do, do the serial deproduction so after doing uh, tbs deproduction you will get alcohol compound 6 it is alcohol so after treating this alcohol with tocyl chloride uh, alcohol is converted into otocyl ots so here we are treating first with otocyl so then followed by you are treating with sodium azide otocyl will act as a leaving group so azide will an attack on otocyl it is a sn2 reaction you are getting azide so after treating after getting azide you have to treat the azide with tpp methanol tpp methanol will convert azide to amine so amine then you have to treat that amine uh, in triethylamine bog hydride you will get nh bog compound so this is fragment one so this molecule is unstable so here train compound so you have to prepare the compound you have to the, uh, keep the compound in the fridge immediately if you keep the compound in fridge also it will it will be stable up to one, uh, one week only after one week it will decompose so uh, according to need according whenever the compound is needed you have to prepare this compound and you have to use it. so if you so synthesis and if you keep in the fridge also it will decompose so now now we are going to synthesis of fragment b so i am um, synthesis of fragment b started with uh, <coughs> suppose started with okay uh, here i am giving seven starting with eight suppose you take this number as eight so 1 comma 4 butyne diol so treating with uh, this compound with sodium hydride and benzyl bromide 
Plus uh, one side benzyl uh, production is taking place. One side benzyl production. So conversion of this triple bond to trans double bond using redol. So if you use redol, uh, double bond is converted into trans double bond. So you are getting trans double bond is allylic alcohol. If you subjected the allylic alcohol to Sharpless condition, you will get the epoxide. So you will get the epoxide, you got the epoxide. So if you treat the epoxide with the dimethyl copper lithium, you are getting 1,3 diol. So if you are dimethyl copper lithium, methyl lithium is adding here, you are getting 1,3 diol. This is 1,3 diol. So what is happening is you generate 1,3 diol is minor amount of 1,2 diol also. So we are removing the 1,2 diol with the sodium paroidate. So paroidate chopping condition will convert the diol into aldehyde. We will remove the, and the minor compound. So compound 11 is treating with pyrrolyl chloride. So primary alcohol is protected as pyrrolyl ether. So primary alcohol is here protecting with the pyrrolyl. So we are uh, then after treating with secondary alcohol tips triflet 26 lutidine you are getting secondary group is protected with tips. So here primary and secondary group is protected with tips. So this compound is 12 is subjected to hydrogenation condition. You are removing the benzyl group. So you are converting bobenzyl to alcohol. So uh, you are getting compound 30. So if you treat compound 13 with uh, methyl chloride, so OH is converted into o -methyl. then the o will be uh, treated with sodium azide, Misyl will is a leaving group, azide will attack on this one, so you are getting azide, so you will get compound 14, 14. then the o group is removed using lithium hydroxide, you will get alcohol here. The alcohol is converted converted to aldehyde using sulfur trioxide pyridine. The aldehyde converted into oxidation using pinic oxidation. Um, this is when you have to use the NaClO2 NaH2PO4 in tetrabutanol to methyl dependent. So you are getting here fragment B. So here synthesis of fragment B also over. This compound is stable, no problem. You can keep uh, keep in the fridge for longer time. So then you can come to the synthesis of fragment 3. I started, uh, I started, uh, I started with the compound of suppose 15 I am giving number. So if you are subjecting with uh, this compound with serine oxidation, you will get aldehyde, Al conversion of alcohol to aldehyde. So what, I had, what is happening, you have to take this phosphonite. You have to treat with sodium hydride at zero for 30 minutes. Then you have to add the aldehyde. So here you will get a diene compound. So if you are getting a diene compound. Diene is diene is treated with dibol. So dibol you are getting alcohol here. So alcohol is converted to aldehyde using serine oxidation condition. You are getting aldehyde. So what is happening is you have to take. Uh, tertiary butyl estate and you have to treat with LDA so LDA LDA so LDA will generate anion on tertiary butyl estate after generation of anion addition of LDA to uh, your tertiary butyl estate to LDA stir for 30 minutes then you have to add the aldehyde so then you will get compound 18 as a racemic compound so you have to treat the this is allylic alcohol if you subjected to sharpless condition one of the alcohol is removed and we will get fragment c which required fragment c so what is happening is all three fragments in our hand then we have to do the coupling reactions so what is happening is so first actually what i planned i uh, have to uh, i want to synthesize the compound using still a stitching so st still a stitching so i want to do the why because it will uh, a novel strategy so i want to use a still a stitching strategy so still a stitching strategy so what i have taken is uh, i have prepared this compound so for preparation of this compound you need two three steps 
so first you have to take uh, this uh, three amino propanol you have to do bulk production followed by conversion of aldehyde aldehyde to this uh, transido compound so for this uh, suppose you, you can search from reaxis how to prepare this compound if you have anybody want to know this synthesis of this compound you can give you a comment so after uh, preparation of this compound you have to we are doing bulk deproduction using tfa so bulk deproduction using tfa and we are doing edc hot coupling with fragment b so we already prepared in the in the slides so after coupling with the fragment b you are getting this compound suppose i don't remember what okay, excuse me take this compound as a 19 so 20 so here the azide is converted into amine using tpp so then the amine is protected with bog anhydride triethylamine bog anhydride you are getting nh bog so this is compound 21 after doing this compound we are we are we are treating this compound 21 with tfa so tfa will bog will remove you will get nh3 plus tfa minus and you are treating the peptide coupling with com fragment c so after coupling with the fragment c you are getting compound 22 so peptide coupling means using edc hobd you are uh, generating a amide bond so after that you have to prepare this compound so for preparation of this compound also you have to see how to go to the reaxis and search the condition or, you, or sometimes see the compound is also available commercially so if you are subjected to dcc dmu of condition you will get compound 23 so after getting compound 23 we are subject, we are removed we are removing this tips group using tbf so you, if you are subjected to TBF, you are getting free alcohol here. So now, now ready for the final step. So after getting this diido, I tried still a stitching with the palladium, palladium estonated dichloride and the solvent dipa DMF solvent. But I am unable to isolate the product. So here the sometimes the molecules are uh, um, not inter, not uh, inter to, or not ready to go cyclization. So so our time will be wasted for long time. Suppose uh, suppose for doing this scheme it requires uh, six months. Suppose uh, after preparing all compound and material material is over and uh, you are not finally succeeded with uh, with this scheme. So you have to go for another scheme. So another scheme means you have to prepare the all fragments from starting onwards for another time. So now I am going. Now I, I I went for another uh, another coupling. So I started uh, seeing already in my hand fragment one is there. So now as usual I do I done TFA deproduction. Uh, I get TH NH3 plus TFA minus salt. So after doing the EDCHOB decoupling, I am generating a, a amide bond with the fragment B. So this azide is converted into amine using TPP methanol. Then um, amine is converted into NH bog. So, uh, so I am getting this compound. So excuse me, 23, this is uh, 24, this is 25. So after 28 years subjected to TP methanol followed by bog anhydride, we are getting compound 29. 
So compound 29 is treated with lithium hydroxide. Lithium hydroxide, I am getting acid here. Ester is converted into acid using lithium hydroxide. So base catalyzed hydrolysis. Subjected uh, this acid with uh, DCC DMAP coupling with fragment C. So fragment C means already you have to see the fragment C structure. Then after coupling, I am getting this compound. So after getting this compound, I am treating this compound with TBF. So tips group is removed. After doing the removing, I tried to depreciate uh, the bulk compound with uh, TFA and followed by as well as tertiary butyl goes removed. And uh, I tried FDPP dipocyclization. So here my reaction is not, my substrate is not went for cyclization. So again my compound total metal is uh, wasted. So wasted means fragment 1 is over, fragment 2 is over, fragment 3 is over. So total here I spend it on other 6 months. So my total compound is consumed. So again I have to prepare the I have to prepare the all starting metals from my so finally all strategies are failed. All strategies are failed. So I went for a formal synthesis. Formal synthesis of FR29. So fragment one is in hand. <coughs> fragment one is in hand. So I subjected to fragment uh, TFA. I am getting NH3 plus TFA minus. And I am subjected to this compound with EDCHOBT coupling with fragment B. I got this compound. So after this azide is converted into amine, same with TPP methanol, you are getting amine followed by treatment with trithalamine bulk. So you are getting NH bulk compound. So NH bulk, after treating NH bulk with TFA, you are, will get amine followed by EDCHOBT coupling with fragment C. You are getting this compound. So after treating with this compound with TBAF, first serial group is removed. And if you're treating this compound with lithium hydroxide, the ester is converted into acid. So here we are getting seco acid. Thus the seco acid is subjected to MNBA condition, MNBA DMAP condition. It is reported by another scientist. So this step also already reported by another scientist. So that's why we are calling is formal synthesis. Sometimes we will repeat, we will repeat the, this step in the laboratory and we can synthesis this molecule. We can call it as a formal synthesis or we can, we can synthesis the compound from up to here and then we can report a formal synthesis. So this is a formal synthesis. Formal synthesis means we are repeating the final step. So, uh, so the reported procedure is repeating by us. So this is called formal synthesis. So for this molecule around I spend it one and a half year. So one and a half year means already three years are over. Three years, three years, uh, two months, three years, four months or three and a half year up to. So three and a half year means 2005 is over plus three, 2008 is over. <laughs> so I entered into 2009. So this publication is not published, manuscript under preparation. So finally, thank you. So so synthesis of polyacted A, polyacted B will be discussed in the next video. Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Give me a like. If you are MSc or CSR aspirants. So here useful books are, are in the description link below. So please go through the link. Thank you.